all praise and adoration are due to Allah. The Most High, who deserves true worship in sincerity and good purpose, the Most High. Alas, true, pure, innate religion belongs to Allah. When you worship, you worship him alone, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says in the glorious Quran, mandating Prophet Abraham, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and proclaim to mankind the obligation of hajj, pilgrimage that will come on backs of lean camels that will come from all nooks and crannies in order to be present to things that are beneficial to them of mundane and not mundane life in this life and the beneficial things in the hereafter. And in order that they may celebrate in remembrance of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will celebrate the remembrance of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala over all the bounties Allah has showed upon them beyond counting and enumeration. I also be a witness and testify that nothing, nothing whatsoever deserves true worship except Allah alone without any associate who says tabaraka wa ta'ala intimating mankind, Muslims of the obligation of hajj. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala says to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is the obligation of hajj upon Muslims for those who have the financial wherewithal that will take them to the performance of pilgrimage. Whoever rejects, whoever disbelieves, whoever shun away from this obligation, Allah the Most High is sufficient from such people with vile personalities and so on and so forth. Meaning if you go for Hajj, you are going for the benefit of your own self. I also be a witness and testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the most distinguished servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who says in a sound hadith between the performance of Umrah to another is an expiation between the period of time between this Umrah and this one is an expiation of one's shortcomings but true free hajj of any defects has no reward but jannah allah tabaraka wa ta'ala rewards with jannah whoever performs a free hajj free from defect and so on and so forth may allah continue to show his peace and blessings upon prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his uh, distinguished household respected companions and all those who in righteousness, emulate them. May Allah make us be among them. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the theme of the sermon today is sent us thus, Hajj, or pilgrimage, the procedure of strengthening Tawheed, strengthening Tawheed, revival of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, upholding, upholding in acceptance of the greatness of Allah Taala and his own sovereignty inculcated in the minds of Muslims and the world Muslim assembly. Indeed, brothers and sisters in Islam, the best counseling, the greatest counseling that can be offered to a Muslim is to ask him to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be conscious of Allah Taala, to be righteous as long as his heart it's a living one that will send a message when you tell somebody, fear Allah. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, I urge you and myself to fear Allah and to be conscious of him subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant us taqwa. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam. Indeed, you have known that out of the five fundamental principles of Islam, after proclamation of the kalima 
of La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, after being steadfast on prayer, giving out zakah, and fasting the month of Ramadan, is Hajj, pilgrimage to the sacred vicinity in the holy city of Mecca to Kaaba and other mashair for those who have the financial wherewithal to be able to do that. Indeed, brothers and sisters in Islam, Hajj, Hajj is a procedure that gives opportunity to the pilgrim to become clean against kufr, shirk, and all other misbehavior in terms of attitudes, in terms of how he relates, in terms of how he deals with people and so on and so forth, because there thou shall see the, there's no difference between the highly and the lowly. All of you in ihram grab, you walk like anybody and that you are not accorded because there you are supposed to show your humility to Allah. You are supposed to be humble. And that is why you get clean out of whatever is disturbing you in the head of, of uh, recalcitrance, of or haughtiness, or boastfulness, or pride, and so on and so forth. Therefore, Hajj is a special procedure that affords you the opportunity to get cleaned spiritually. And it is an opportunity for you to have to observe in honor and reverence the emblems of the a religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, that is it. Whoever holds in due reverence and respect the emblems of or signs of the religion of Allah, that is a sign of piety. That is a sign of righteousness. Brothers and sisters in Islam, and we are within the non months of Hajj. Three of them, as described by the glorious Quran, the three, the, the three consecutive months, Shawwal, Dhul Qaeda, and ten of Dhul Hijjah. We are already in Dhul Qaeda. Allah the Most High says, Hajj is performed in, non, in the non months. The Shawwal, Dhul Qaeda, and Dhul Hijjah and alhamdulillah, contingents all over the world have started trooping to the holy vicinity. Some to Medina, some to Mecca, those, and so on and so forth. In preparation for the, or, uh, for the performance of one of the greatest pillars of Islam, the pilgrimage. May Allah wa ta'ala make it safe and free from all troubles, insha'Allah, tabaraka wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, indeed, pilgrimage is the world Muslim assembly from the Middle East to Asia, to Africa, and to Europe, where a convergence of like minds, Muslims, males and females, professionals, scholars, leaders, and so on and so forth, you meet in order in order to be present and benefit from the benefits of both mundane and non-mundane benefits. An engineer will meet another engineer maybe from Asia, from Africa. Where are you from? Exchanging card. What do you do? I venture in mine. Oh, me too. I do that. Exchange card. I have an opportunity. You ask him to come. You go there. I'm a building engineer. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm a scientist. I'm a med medical person. Where convergence. You benefit. How many businesses were really, uh, were, 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 were really tied and engaged in this? How many billions and billions of reals or dollars and so on people benefit? And you can see that there's no assembly in the whole world where at one time about three million people will converge. You can see. That's why some businessmen in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia is just a yearly business. 
after which they don't need to come out again because they have made it until the next year. It's a convergence where if you think you are a scholar, if in court, even though in Nigeria people appoint themselves ulema, scholars, you ask them who appoints you, does, uh, he's a sheikh. He said, okay, who shakes you? Who gave you this title? He has no, nobody. But because of the, the easy access to social media, people have appointed themselves that they are ulama. Go there, you will see distinguished, celebrated, global world ulama. And you can see, even learn from their attitudes. Learn out of the simplicity. Learn the way they talk. And you, who gave you, you said, okay, I'm a sheikh. Okay, who shakes you? Who shakes you? Because you can't become until you really rise to that position. And quite unfortunately, the, 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 the gully ball, people think that when people when, when, stuff the whole social media, they think that those are the ulama. No. An alim is careful before he talks. And that uh, people say, ah, but this one, he doesn't appear in, 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 in social media. And you know, he's, he's cool. He doesn't really criticize. He doesn't abuse. Yes, because empty vessels make the most noise, quite unfortunately. There you see ulama, real ulama. You see them from Africa, even from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, even Europe. Wallahi, even Europe. Europe, and so on and so forth. The so-called ulama you are talking about, you can, you, thou shall find them not even eligible to be students of such ulama. But today, they have already saturated the whole uh, space with noises and so on and so forth. So you better be careful. You don't become the cheap football that they will beat around to the right, to the left, and so on and so forth. And people really get to really blend, Muslims get to blend with one another in this sacred vicinity with so many benefits. Allah says, and remember and rehearse, O Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and tell your people, when we met this house, the house of Allah, the sacred vicinity, a meeting place full of security, Peace when you go there. As you just enter to the vicinity, you feel serene, you feel peaceful, and really you become discerning kind of, and so on and so forth. Allah says, after you circumambulated the house through tawaf, then go to the standing place where Abraham and his son Ishmael build the Kaaba and perform two rakats. Allah says, Allah says, mandating Abraham and Ishmael that you should purify and clean the vicinity. Make it really well prepared. Well prepared for those who do tawaf and those who pray. Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward the government of Saudi Arabia this convergence of millions of people. But Alhamdulillah, sparkling clean. Everything, every year is another development in trying to make the performance of Hajj easier and easier. May Allah wa ta'ala reward them. Indeed, they deserve special dua and uh, commendation. Allah the Most High Allah the Most High, after having ordered Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, that proclaim, said Allah, how can my voice preach them? Allah said, just do what you are told and uh, reaching out is ours, according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah the Most High ordered the performance of Hajj for his sake only. Not that I have gone 1,000 times. Okay, you have gone 1,000 times. What have you... Okay, what are, the, what are the pillars of Hajj? What are the obligatory steps of Hajj? What are the Sunnah steps of Hajj? What are the recommended... You don't know. Then you are just, you are just, uh, you are just going and coming, finish. You have to really know. As Allah 
ordered that whatever aspect of worship we offer should be in sincerity of purpose in ikhlas. The Allah Taala said, "They were not mandated but to worship Allah in sincerity in the religion, and that they perform the salah and zakah." This is the steadfast religion. Allah says, "Whoever desires to meet Allah peacefully on the day of Qiyamah, let him perform righteous deeds, and let him not associate with Allah." anything in this ibadah. May Allah continue to be with us. May he continue to guide us. May Allah wa ta'ala makes this year's hajj a fruitful one, peaceful one. May Allah wa ta'ala accept this ibadah for them. May Allah wa ta'ala continue to be with our pilgrims. As we ask Allah wa ta'ala to relieve us of the trying times we are passing through, most especially our brothers and sisters in Palestine, especially in in, in Gaza and Rafah, may Allah relieve them. May Allah wa ta'ala bring the medium of ceasefire. May Allah wa ta'ala forgive all those who passed away through this. May Allah wa ta'ala bring about world peace. May Allah wa ta'ala bring the hearts of Muslims together. Here in the home front, Allah will ask you to relieve us of the deteriorating situation of insecurity. Most especially in Kasina, in Zamfara, in Niger, in Sokoto, in Maiduguri, and other places where Muslims are being persecuted. May Allah bring an end to this. May Allah ta'ala answer our prayers. May He continue to be with us. May He continue to guide us. Subhana Rabbika, Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun, wa Salamun Ala Al Mursaleen, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.